guys how are you doing today I'm coming to you with some empties uh, before I get into it my makeup looks a little weird my concealer is really bright um I actually did a Halloween tutorial I turned myself into a deer and instead of filming all my regular videos first I filmed the Halloween tutorial first so I had to take off some of the details of the Halloween makeup and try to make it look normal without redoing my whole face and so it, it yeah don't know why I did that but anyway I have some videos to film for you guys, I have some information to get out to you guys, so you're going to see this makeup in a few videos. Sorry, it's the same day. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get into it. Empties. So, I do not do monthly empties. Um, if you don't know what empties are, it's things I've used up completely, and I can give you a full review on them, if I will repurchase them, or what have you. Um, I, again, it's with remembering to review stuff, everything else going on in my life, sometimes it's hard to remember my trash. So, this is probably not all my empties since my last empties video, which was, I don't know how long ago, but it's all the ones I'll remember to keep. Um... So, these are things that I finished, and in lieu of things that I finished, I was like, well, I could do this video. Today is my last day of my fall semester. I finished my classes for fall semester. Another semester down. I'm so happy, and I'm so tired, and back to videos and work. So, um, school can... Oh, school will take all my energy and time, you guys. I know you guys could tell with the sparse videos or whatever. But anyway, I finished the semester, so let's show some beauty products I finished. Also, I'm not wearing my blue contacts. I haven't been wearing them in a few videos. My eye got irritated. I was giving it a rest. And also, I have an eye appointment tomorrow, and you can't wear your contacts for 24 hours before your eye appointment. And so, um, yeah, so I was like, all right, I'll just keep my contacts out for a while. It's, so it's been like a week. So, whatever. Um, yeah. So get my life together so I have some empties here most of them are beauty related I'm gonna start with I have a hair related empty that's quite a bit of empties in here um I have a hair related empty again if you see me squinting or looking at the viewfinder I don't have my glasses on I cannot see so you know uh, I finished some jam <laughs> why did I keep this but anyway this is the value size let's jam condition and shine gel extra hold this is what I do my ponytails with when I don't have braids for my natural hair um, before I found gorilla snot this is also sometimes what I lay my edges down with it smells so good I'm completely done with it um, this is a cute jar I might keep this jar uh, oh there's some in the lid because it was upside down but yeah uh, really nice it's really cheap it's like that big one's like four dollars yeah so I finished some jam I put it in there so I talked about it all right let's go ahead and go into some things I finished a Dante makeup brush cleaner this company makes my favorite brush cleaner it's inexpensive this big bottle was probably about eight dollars at IMATS um, I haven't ordered from their site because I stack up enough yearly at IMATS to um, have enough um, so it's completely clear they do have a a pink one I think like a rose one I don't get that one it's completely colorless and odorless and won't affect affect fragrances or tints to your brushes or anything like that this is my spot cleaner um like in between like if um in between washes I have to spot clean my brushes for my kit or um here personally at home I have a small one actually next to my vanity all the time a uh, spray bottle of it and it it completely removes it completely removes any color anything remaining in your brush and um yeah I really can enjoy it and it dries almost instantly I can really appreciate this again Dante disposable um I, Dante Disposable is the company. Uh, Dante Makeup Brush Cleaner is the brush cleaner. Dante Disposables, they sell, you know, all your disposable mascara wands and lip gloss wands and all that crap that um, you need when you're a makeup artist. Alright, I finished the Scandinavia. I don't even know if this was my... I don't know. I think this was the first one I ever bought looking at the packaging years ago. And I was so sparse with it. Um... Like, I was so sparse when I only had one. Now I have a few Scandinavias. But anyway, I finished the No More Shine Makeup Finish Ultra Fine Longwear Makeup Setting Spray Oily Skin Formula. This stuff is amazing. This is a little bit on the expensive side. I do get it from IMAX. I ordered from the Scandinavia website one time. They're always having sales. A bottle like this is going to run you about 20-something bucks. Um, so it is kind of expensive, but it, 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 definitely, it definitely works. This is my, again, oily skin formula. Kept me shine-free. Last all day. I mean, we know how setting sprays and finishing sprays work, so wonderful. Uh, this one is the setting spray. However, I found it did add longevity to my makeup, so yeah. All right, 
I finished a pair of lashes to the point where they got, like, I kind of ripped them, trying to peel the glue off. And these are the Cocos and Queen Bee. These are one of my favorite lashes, uh, if not my favorite lash from Coco or lash from all time. Um, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, I ripped this one. Yeah, they're done. Uh, this one's still sticking on. Very whispery. It's a double layer lash. We're very wispy, very long. I love a lash where the all the lashes are the same length. The again the um not alternate, they vary in length. And again, the tips are the ends are really, really wispy and fluttery. These are about $6.99 on the Coco Lashes um site. Well, actually not the Coco Lashes site. I get my Coco Lashes from LadyMoss.com. Lady Moss has recently been at IMAX for the past two years, and so I stock up on them when I go. They're about $6.99. Um, and if I buy about two to three pairs, two to three pairs will last me a whole year and some change. But um, at IMAX are like four for 20, five for 20. So, Queen Bee, you know I have backups already. The Dante's Disposable makeup cleaner. I already have backups. I guess I told you that. My Scandinavia have many of those. Told you that. So, alright. I finished a Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is the ooh, Milk Chocolate Finish. This is my skin tone one that I use to set my powder. I am like a broken record with this powder. This powder, big pan, $6. It Again, it makes my face... Soft focus. Flawless. It looks really good on camera. It really blends well with anything else I have on my face. Any foundation. It sets really well. It's just enough shade in it. Milk chocolate finish. It's not like a full coverage powder foundation, but it's just enough where like if your foundation color was off, you know, you could bring this in and it'll help everything calm down and help everything look the way it's supposed to look. Love it. I have a backup. I have one open already in my drawer that I've been using since I finished this one. And I have a backup in my backup drawer. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I finished another spray. Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Now, look at the back of this. I'm going to show you guys. It's dirty. I'm so glad they changed the packaging. I, now I can't see. So let me see if I can get it to show. Urban Decay by Scandinavia. Need I say more? So Scandinavia apparently makes their setting spray, the D-Slick Oil Control. I don't know if it's a conspiracy. They're the same, really the same thing in the same bottle. I don't know. I don't know. But it works just as well. It works really well. I bought the Scandinavia first. I had Scandinavia before I tried this one. And I saw that on the back and I was like, oh, okay. So, that's all I'm gonna say. Y'all already know how I feel about it. It's wonderful. Alright. This isn't, is this empty? It's not empty, but I threw it away for some reason. This is the NYX Eyeshadow Base, and this is the white. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm done with it. But I put it in the empties. Apparently, I want to talk about it. I do like this base. Now, um, growing up in makeup and finding other alternatives and different things, um, I have some other bases. I have some other bases. So, like, this one kind of got scooted to the side. However, this is the best white base. Um that I have ever tried. I can get away with like a nude, a light nude base or just a light white eyeshadow if I want to do really bright colors now because the quality of my eyeshadows have improved since what I was first using, I guess. Um, but this is a really good, especially around Halloween, if you need a white base or just an all over white situation, um, and top it with a white eyeshadow. This next white base is about $5. Um, I know that she, they have a nude base and they have a black base right now. I don't know why I threw this out. Maybe it's just old and I'm done with it. But I do appreciate the next eyeshadow base. Would I repurchase it? Um, if the need arose. I'm not about to run out and be like, oh, I, I ran out of my next eyeshadow base because honestly, I wouldn't miss it if I didn't need it. But if I needed a white base and I had nothing else, this would be the first one I would go out and get. So you understand oh another brush cleaner this is the um when i get this i think i got it from imats this was by encore is it encore makeup i think yeah encore makeup he actually encore is a oh old old beauty youtuber one of the ogs um his brand i got that i think i got this from imats um, it is a brush cleaner, and what it was was see this like loofah type thing. There was a bar of brush cleaner soap on the back of it, and you would do your brushes and you would do this. I alternated between this, other things, anything to wash my brushes really. And I finally finished it. I really enjoyed it. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably not, considering it's not like a brand where I can easily access it. Um, and I have other ways to wash my brushes now. I have the big mat and everything, but I do recommend, especially if you have a small amount of brushes, maybe not this specific one because I don't even know where to find it now 
Is website on the back? Yeah, website's on the back. Um, but something maybe if you want like the bar and the loofah, you could make one. Some type of situation where everything is all compact like this to wash your brushes. That would be really cool. Alright, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Damn! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I finished this. I do remember finishing this a while ago. And this was like the first empty I put in this bag. So it's been a while. This, I finished the Bare Minerals Concealer, okay? This is the Correcting Concealer in SPF, with SPF 20 in it in Deep 2. Now, this is a little special to me because this is my first high-end, mid-range concealer um, I ever purchased. I remember back in the day, I purchased it from Sephora, and it was like, it was. I went to Sephora, and I was looking for a concealer, and the girl suggested it, and it, I spent 20 bucks on it, or I had a gift card, and I just was like, oh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> yeah, so I use this under the eyes. It's a really nice concealer. I do have a backup. I did repurchase this. It is a really wonderful concealer. The correcting part, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't, when I started wearing this, I didn't understand color correction. I didn't really know, and I didn't really, y'all know. Um, So I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, color correct, because I, I know it covered, and it made me, it was a very natural, beautiful, flawless type of face situation. Is it full coverage? No. Um... But it's definitely natural, no makeup makeup, and it's one of the best no makeup makeup concealers in my opinion. Uh, again, this is the shade Deep 2. I also used it to sculpt up my eyebrows when I first started doing that. And it's just a wonderful concealer overall. And I did, I finished the entire thing, and I do have another one already. Um, where is it? In my collection, I repurchased, this, is, this has been in empty for a while. Um... So it's so funny because when I purchased this one, <clears throat> I'm an idiot, I forgot which shade of this I ordered, I got, and I'm sorry, I bought, not ordered, and they kind of up the packaging a little bit. The packaging's a little thicker, and the shades are a little bit different. It was a mess, so this is dark too, um, and this is deep too, so, but anyway, I knew I wanted another one, so. <laughs> yeah, that makes me happy. That really does. I might keep this pan. Uh, all right, we getting down there. We getting down there. This is so funny. I finished a Maybelline Baby Lips. This bad boy to the point where it's not even. I can't even. I don't messed it up. Broke it up. I finished a Maybelline Baby Lips. This has been in my purse since I've probably since I bought it and had a purse. Um, it was just like, I need a lip balm in my purse. And this was the first one I grabbed. And it's the Maybelline Baby Lips. It's this clear one with the sunscreen and the SPF 20. Um, it doesn't have a shade name on it because it's just the plain white one. There's literally nothing in here. Um, I just kept it in my purse. Is it the best lip balm? I think it, the reason why, um... I don't know, like, I can't even sit here and lie to you and be like, it's so this, it's so that, it's moisturizing, it makes my lips shiny, but it was like, I need a lip balm in my purse, and I threw it in my purse, and every time I changed purse, I took this lip balm with me, I never changed it from my purse, I, I don't know, but I finished it, and that was this years, I finished it, it's so funny, alright. I finished an eyelash glue. This is the Salon Perfect Perfect Strip Eyelash Adhesive. I get this from Walmart. It's about $3. It's my favorite eyelash glue. This is the clear version. They have a black version. Um, I like the clear version because it dries clear because I get glue everywhere. I'm trying to put my eyelashes on most of the time. And so this dries clear. Again, it sticks all day. I never get lifting with my eyelashes. I got lifting one time with my eyelashes and that was at my college graduation um, when I got my associate's degree. Um, I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was so hot. It was like 90 degrees. We had on black cap and gowns. And uh, we were, it was like 3,000 of us. And we were like sitting like this. And I was just sweating. My makeup didn't look too bad because I had my powder, my setting spray and everything. But these lashes, they like lifted a bit. And um, at the point where by the time we got to the restaurant, I took them off. And that was the one situation where this glue lifted. And I think that's pretty good. Um, I've cried. I've worn this. Um, I know this sounds really like a bad reference for a review, but I wore this to my granddad's funeral. I don't I don't know why, but I cried. I cried. I cried. No lash lifting. Nothing. This is the only glue I've been using for years. Um, I really do. I always have like two or three backups in my collection. And um, Yes, I love this glue. I recommend this eyelash glue. The only thing is it doesn't have a wand. Um, it is like a squeezy tube. I just I just put some on maybe a, um, 
like a little foundation palette or even like the lashes that I'm using for the day just right there in the middle because it peels off once it dries. It peels off once it dries and um, I'll use a Q-tip or whatever and put it on and my lashes stay and it's wonderful. So this glue. $2.98 at Walmart. $2.48, $2.98. Wonderful. All right, we getting somewhere. I finished this Tarte Maracuja oil. It came as a sample, a point perk at Sephora, and you know what I used it for? I used it for my cuticles. Like after I'm done my makeup or I'm for the night, um, sitting down, cleaned up my vanity, just chilling here, washed my face, and did all those type of things. I go ahead and I put cuticle oil on my cuticles. Um, and this was the oil that I used. I didn't have any other purpose for it. Um, for a long, long time, and I just used all my cuticles. It worked really well. Really nice moisturizing oil. And then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, ooh, Cream Concealer Kit. Where is it? Something's in my eye. Oh, something's in my eye. Oh, 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 oh. This cream contour kit. Not concealer kit, I'm sorry, contour kit. And these con cream concealers, contour shades, are so thick. Um, they're good, but they're thick. You need something to make it a little bit more emollient. Um, so I use this maracuja oil, and I will put a drop. Yo, something in my eye, y'all. I can't deal with it. I will put a drop um, on here, and it would make these creamy and spreadable. And that was the other way I used this oil. But for the most part, I used it for my cuticle oil. It's really nice. When I repurchase it, it's kind of expensive. And there are other cheap oils out there, so probably not. But if you already own it, I definitely recommend using it. <sighs> finally, you guys. I finished it, finally. This is probably about two to three years it took me. Finished a full-size Urban Decay Primer Potion. I know now. You could cut it open and get more product out. I feel like I've got my money's worth. I bought this. This was full-size. I bought it. Was um. I either got it from Nordstrom Rack or Ulta. Because I remember Ulta had a point perk. Or like 21 Days of Beauty. These were on sale for $12. And I know Nordstrom Rack has them for $10. Whatever, whichever I paid $12 or $10 for this. And it lasted me years. And almost three years. I think I got my money's worth. Um, I think I got my, my money's worth. And even if I cut it open and put it in a pot, that's too much. I have like four backups because I went to Nordstrom Rack and went crazy. I have my backup. I'm ready to go. This is the bomb. It's my favorite eye primer. I have plenty of other eye primers that I kind of try every now and then or I go to every now and then um, just to use up things in my collection, but this is always tried and true. This is my favorite Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't even own any of the new ones with the new wand. This is the old packaging, so you probably can catch them on sale. Um, I don't need any more for a very, very, very long time, so yeah, wonderful. Where are we going? How long have I made this? 20 minutes talking about empties. Eyebrows. This is how long it's been since my last empties. I have finished, well now four, because this one is done too. Elf Wet Lash Wet. Let me calm down. Elf, what is it called? <clears throat> the name's not on here. It's the Wet Brow and Lash Clear Mascara. One side is supposed to be clear mascara for your lashes. The other side is supposed to be clear mascara brow gel. I use both sides for brows. Sets my brows. They make them really shiny. I have I like really, really, really shiny brows. I'm sorry, y'all. Something is really in my eye. I like really, really, really shiny brows. And this definitely, um, definitely makes them shiny. Keeps them shiny. Makes them a little hard. Not hard, but like, stay. Like hairspray, kind of kind of weird to describe it like that but that's what it is um wonderful it's been a long time I've gone through four of them um yeah I have nothing else to say they're dollar uh I catch them in the dollar tree a lot they were originally a dollar I'll freeze the price to two dollars but I always catch them in the dollar store um Walmart Target things like that and I really 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 love them it's my favorite brown gel and I've gone through four of them both sides I finished both sides of each one how funny is that? So, all right, let's go through brow pencils real quick. I have finished the Anastasia 
Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Yeah, well, let's go here. This is in the shade Dark Brown. Dark Brown is actually not my shade. Uh, I use chocolate, um, but I got this in a kit, like a sample, Sephora, bat, whatever, and I used it and I made it work. Um, but I do like prefer chocolate. I like the Brow Wiz, um, but I do like NYX Micro Brow better for the price and the Brow Wiz compared to the Micro Brow um, is a little drier. I didn't mind it when I didn't have anything to compare it to, but the NYX Micro Brow just has that little bit more smoothness that allows me to save my money on this one. So, but it's a decent brow pencil. All right. The NYX Micro Brow, I have finished four. I finished Chocolate. I finished Espresso. I finished a Brunette. And I finished, I finished two brunettes, a chocolate, and an espresso. Now, so funny why you got all these colors, Candace. Because when I go to find it, when I go to buy it, if they don't have my chocolate, um, if they don't have my chocolate, brunette and espresso are so close that it can work. With the brow is, the colors are a little bit, definitely more defined. They're more different. So there's a big difference between dark brown and chocolate in the Anastasia. There's not as big of a difference in these, in the NYX Micro Brow, just so you know. Um, but I finished four of them. How long does a brow pencil last me? If I'm wearing it every single day, if I'm using it every day, um, and filling in my brows with a brow pencil every day, you probably get me about a month and a half. Maybe. Yeah, a month and a half. About a month and a half. Um, so, yeah, I've used my dip brow, of course, in between all this and different things. But definitely travel with the brow pencil. I really travel with my dip brow because it's just a lot of work. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoy these. You can get these on sale all the time. They're drugstore. You can catch them. They're about $10 full price. But um, I recently picked up two more for, like, $6 because NYX was 30% off, 40% off, something like that. At Ulta, there you go. And then the last brow pencil is this LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil. I know I picked this up from IMAX, I think, at the LA Girl, at the, um, some booth. I don't like it. It's really, really dry to the point where little pieces were breaking off. I don't recommend it. Um, I finished it, but, you yeah, know, I don't recommend it. <laughs> That's it. That's all my empties from I don't know how long. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll remember to keep collecting my trash as I go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of these products mentioned in the video, go ahead and leave them down below. Something's still in my eye. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.